Hello, and in this video we're going to use Onshape to create ISO number 19. I will start with this overall cube and then we'll do some subtractive methods uh, to take out this uh, circle portion and this uh, triangular portion that we cut out. Uh, so we'll go over to Onshape. Uh, we'll start with a sketch. I'm going to put it on that front face and we'll change it to the front view to make it a little easier to see. Uh, then we look back at our shape and we count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 long by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tall. Uh, so we come back to on shape, we select our rectangle, start at the origin, and we make our rectangle. Uh, we said it was 9 enter by 7 tall enter. Uh, I'll hit the green check to accept, change that front ISO, home ISO view, and then we'll hit extrude. I'll click inside my shape and we can look back and we can count and it's one, two, three, four in depth. So change that depth to four and accept that cube shape they give us. Uh, now that we have our cube, we have two cutouts we need to do. Uh, first, I'll do this triangular portion that we need to cut out. So if we look at that triangular portion, uh, it comes in three from the left hand side and two from the right hand side on the bottom. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a sketch put it on my front and change my front view. And then I'm just gonna take the line tool and I'm gonna make a line to get us started. I'll make that line diagonal down, touch both edges, and then I'll go to the outside edge, I'll go to top, and then I'll close out my shape. Uh, then I need a dimension from the top, we said to the outside, I'm gonna zoom out just so you can see or move my shape actually so we can see a little better and we said that was a distance of three and it and i did the same thing on the bottom i just click on that line and i said that value to two and it. now you can see we're fully constrained everything's black so i can accept and then we need to cut it back so i'll change my view we'll extrude we move i'll click inside this portion and we see it cuts back a distance of two so i change my distance to two and enter and hit the green check to accept. Uh, then we need the circle. Uh, the circle, it's got a diameter of one, two, three, and four. And we need to locate that circle as well. Uh, if we look, it's one, two, three, four from the left hand side, and then one, two, three from the top. So we need a sketch. I'm just gonna put it on that front surface. I'm gonna change to my front view again. I'll hit my circle. I'm roughly going to put it on my sketch and we'll dimension it the right location. I uh, set our diameter to 4 and then dimension from the center of the circle to the top we said was 3. So type that as a 3. And then from the center of the circle to the left hand side we said was 4. So we'll set that as 4. Uh, once we've done that we can hit the green check. We can accept it and we can extrude that back. So we'll extrude. I'm going to click inside both portions of the circle, hit remove, and we're going to extrude it all the way through. So I'm going to change what it says blind to through all. And hit the check, and that gives us that cutout. Uh, hopefully this helps in your creation of ISO 19. Uh, good luck.